What's up, everyone? So in this month, we talked about uh, three tips for getting better wedding images and getting everything that you need uh, to tell the story of the day. So we covered moments, we covered uh, thinking big to get those big shots, and uh, we covered details as well. So what I wanted to go through next was what you're going to do with all those images, right? Um, if you're not a shoot and burner, you're delivering uh, albums, prints, uh, you know, that those high-end products. So what I want to do is walk you guys through uh, one of our album designs uh, so you can get a, you know, a good idea of what a uh, full story from our day is going to look like and what we're delivering to the client with a completed album. So this book here is an 11 by 16 uh, pano uh, from uh, Signature Collection Albums. And typically, the way we'll do our layouts is it's usually in a chronological uh, layout from bride prep through the reception and then usually we'll start with some uh, you know bigger more landscape scenic uh, impact shots to, to start the album off which you see that we have here on the left uh, and the right so moving on to the next spread uh, we're starting with some details here so if you look at the background we have which was a close-up of the dress uh, so you can see all the details in there. So as we're shooting, we're thinking about the album. All of our clients are receiving an album. It comes with their package. So we know uh, that we need all these images. And then if, if you go across here, you can see we have a, like a grouping shot of a necklace, a hairpiece, garter, onto the rings, um, invitations, close-ups, uh, you know, just some jewelry and uh, important uh, items that, that they're going to have on them uh, for that day. Moving on to bride prep, you'll see we have a mix of the bride getting ready, uh, the dress in the center here, and then you have just a moment here with this, the mom and her daughter holding her, she's looking at camera, you know, just, just a great shot um, that, that they'll appreciate. Going now again through the getting ready process, you have close up of hands, you know, just things that are naturally happening uh, we had the bride sit on the couch here and just go through the process of putting on her garter and her shoes and you can see how we laid it out kind of in a succession here uh, from left to right uh, you know as it would unfold over to the guys again paying attention to the details uh, brioni which you may or may not know is a very expensive uh, brand Again, you wanna make sure you're getting all of these details. These are things that your clients have spent a lot of money on. So you wanna make sure you pay attention uh, to all those things. They're, they're probably not gonna be big, they might not make it into the album, but you, you wanna make sure you have them uh, if and when they do uh, look for them. So cufflinks, going through again the process of the room re getting ready, just candid, he's doing his thing. Uh, grab a portrait here. We got the guys messing around up on the couch on the top right, you know, just something funny that they want to do. And then they all had um, some unique socks. So we got an image uh, of that. Again, paying attention, finding out what they have, you know, things that are, that are important to them. You want to make sure you get all of that. Moving on to the ceremony. So the way we shoot the ceremony, and I can tell you uh, where I am versus where Melissa is for this. So the main thing, Melissa is looking for at the beginning of the ceremony is going to be the groom uh, when he first sees the bride on the left here. Uh, and then just reactions of the family up in the front rows. And then I'm working the aisle. Uh, so you can see here on the top in the middle, photograph of the bride coming down. Now something that we always do is we always shoot the groom and he's placed uh, in the left of the frame so that he can be on the left of the album spread so that he is looking across looking at the bride coming down the aisle. So that is just something uh, that we shoot for a reason, so that way it can be laid out in the book like this. So you, he, this is what he is looking at, the bride coming down. Uh, and then I'm here behind, once the bride gets past me, I'll come behind, shoot the hand off. You have a moment here of the father of the bride kissing her on the forehead, the groom looking on, the father of the groom actually up front with a point and shoot taking a picture. Uh, and then just more of a, a wide shot you know, from the back, um, a more interesting uh, shot of the architecture and the bride and groom standing there. 
uh, again, moving on to some more, you know, thinking big. Um, you're in a church. You don't have to just stand up there the whole time and just shoot, you know, the, the couple or the, the priest or whatever. Feel free to move around and get some more interesting, uh, you know, looks. So for here, we went up to the balcony and I uh, shot a 1635 uh, from up above to really showcase the architecture and the lines. And then you can see the bride and groom right there. Uh, also, I had uh, my 7200 with me, which was for the shot that you see on the right to get two different perspectives. Here, uh, again, talked about um, we get to the ceremony early before anyone gets there so that we can shoot it clean, uh, which is what you see in this image going across the entire spread. So this is exactly what I was talking about, getting that clean shot so that you're able to use it. Uh, as a background image and an enhancement to your album and to the story. Uh, going, uh, you look here, just holding hands, doing the rings on the left, first kiss, and coming out. So those are all moments, things that as they are happening. Uh, onto some creative portraits. So inside the church, big shots showcasing the architecture. And then you have some tight close up moments. And there as well, connection, affection. Uh, we run around town a little bit in Key West. Found this cool tree off the side of the road. Worked that a little bit for a tight and a wide. Uh, on the right, we have them up on the balcony of the Ernest Hemingway house in Key West. Uh, they're just lit with a video light there. And you're capturing all the ambience of the scene. You see the string lights and the sky and everything that's going on behind them as well. Uh, more details, right? So you're back in the reception. You want to get a wide shot of everything in the reception. So you see that there. Uh, that I shot at 1.4 on a 50 millimeter to take in all the detail and really get those lights uh, going across there and really capture the scene for that background. Uh, you have them making their entrance. Just again, some details there. Champagne glasses, uh, very unique. The place card tables. Uh, more of like a table setting right here. And then you have the uh, cigar roller. Again, something that's that's pretty um, common down here in Miami. Uh, first dance. So for this, the first dance parent dances, um, I'll typically be on a wide angle. Melissa's shooting tight, getting the up close uh, and personal moments and everything in there. And I'm getting more of the, the scene and everything that's going on. So again, we're always balanced on, on what we're shooting. We're never both shooting tight, um, we're never both shooting wide. So we wanna be able to capture both at the same time and we always go in with the same game plan. So here you have another uh, really cool shot of the reception, shot at 1.4, taking in all the ambient light, uh, looking really awesome. Uh, reception, bride and groom dancing, shot above from the balcony, just interesting angles, getting everything as it's happening. Uh, you got this little kid doing his thing on the floor there. So a lot of cool moments right here, just in this cluster of four black and whites on the right. Uh, and I love doing uh, black and white images of moments because what it does when you're using black and white is it strips out all of the color, um, all of the fashion, all of the distracting elements, I believe. Um, and it just lets you focus on the subject and what's really going on in there. Uh, so from for pretty much every image I see in a wedding that's kind of a moment uh, for my personal taste is I'll make it black and white. Uh, onto the cake cutting, again, you've got your detailed shots of the cake, close-ups, uh, just everything letting it unfold. We're very hands-off during the cake, um, minimal instructions up front, and just let them do their thing so everything can unfold uh, naturally. And then back to ending with a big badass killer shot, right? So you wanna close out the album with something uh, major impact and just have that wow to, to finish it off. Uh, so that's gonna be it for this month. That's how we uh, you know, lay out our albums and that's how we're thinking throughout the day, moments, details, thinking big. <clears throat> uh, thanks for checking me out. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out anytime.